Beneath the land and seas of the Philippines, scientists have found something truly extraordinary. Over one trillion dollars worth of hidden minerals lying beneath the surface. This is not just a small pile of treasure that could be used up quickly. It's a massive supply of nickel, copper, gold, silver, zinc, and even rare earth elements. The same materials that fuel the modern world every single day. Think about what this really means. Nickel is one of the most important ingredients for making electric car batteries, the kind that are helping replace gasoline and reduce pollution. Without nickel, the clean energy revolution slows down. Copper is everywhere, from the wires that light up our homes, to the huge power lines that connect entire cities, to the circuits that make technology work. Gold may be shiny and valuable, but it's also used in small but powerful ways inside computers, phones, and medical machines that save lives. And rare earth elements? They may not sound exciting, but they are the invisible engine of modern life, making smartphones faster, making wind turbines spin, and giving satellites and even military systems their advanced power. In short, these are not ordinary minerals. They are the resources that keep the 21st century running, and the Philippines has enormous amounts of them sitting underground. This discovery puts the Philippines at a huge turning point in its history. With these minerals, the country has the chance to completely reshape its economy. It could build new industries, create millions of jobs, and give everyday people opportunities they never had before. Imagine a Philippines where factories are processing its own minerals instead of sending them overseas. Imagine new roads, new schools, better hospitals, and communities being lifted out of poverty because the country finally tapped into its hidden wealth. Imagine the Philippines not just as a beautiful island nation, but as one of the world's key suppliers of the materials that drive the future. But big opportunities always come with big challenges. The whole world already knows how valuable these resources are and powerful countries and corporations are paying attention. Some will want to partner. Others will want to compete. The Philippines will have to make careful choices about how to use its wealth, how to protect its environment and its people, and how to make sure that the benefits reach ordinary Filipinos, not just foreign companies. If the government and people handle this wisely, this treasure could transform the nation for generations. If not, the opportunity could slip away. Let's break it down more clearly. The Philippines is already the world's second largest nickel producer, mining over 300,000 tons in 2022. That is a massive number, and nickel alone makes up almost half of the country's entire mineral production. With the global rise of electric cars, renewable energy storage, and stainless steel production, the demand for nickel is only going to grow. This means the Philippines is already in a powerful position supplying countries that are racing toward a cleaner and more high-tech future. But nickel is only one part of the story. The Philippines also has enormous reserves of copper and gold, and these are just as important. Copper is sometimes called the metal of electricity, because without it, modern life would stop. It powers everything. The electric grids that run cities, the wiring inside every home, the electronics in cars, computers, and phones. The Philippines holds some of the biggest undeveloped copper deposits in Asia, including world-class sites like Tampacan and Mindanao, which is said to be one of the largest in the world. Gold, meanwhile, is deeply tied to Philippine history. Ancient tribes traded gold long before the modern age, and even today small-scale miners continue to search for it across the islands. But gold is more than tradition. It is now critical in modern industries. Tiny amounts of gold are used in smartphones, in medical equipment, and in aerospace technology. It also serves as a financial safety net for nations when markets are unstable. Every time global economies shake, the value of gold rises. For the Philippines, this means gold is not just a symbol of wealth. It's also a resource that provides stability. And then there are the rare earth elements, which might be the most exciting resource of all. Rare earths are not flashy or famous like gold, but they are some of the most valuable materials in existence. They are hidden in the chips of smartphones the magnets of wind turbines and the systems of fighter jets and satellites. They are in many ways the key to modern technology. Right now, China controls most of the world's supply, giving it huge power over global industries. But scientists believe the Philippines has rare earth deposits in places like Palawan, Nueva Vizcaya, and Mindanao. If developed properly, the Philippines could become a major alternative supplier, giving the world a new option and giving the country a stronger position on the global stage. Altogether, this hidden wealth shows why the Philippines is becoming more and more important in the eyes of the world.
These minerals, nickel, copper, gold, and rare earths are not just raw materials. They are the backbone of clean energy, advanced technology, and even national security. The Philippines is sitting on a treasure chest that could redefine its economy and its role in global affairs. All of this shows why the Philippines has suddenly become one of the most important countries in the world when it comes to resources. These minerals are not just shiny objects hidden underground. They represent a stream of wealth that could bring in billions of dollars every single year. And that kind of money has the power to completely reshape the country from top to bottom. Think about what those billions could do. They could build thousands of new schools across the island so that children in both big cities and remote provinces can have better classrooms, computers, and books. They could fund modern hospitals with advanced machines, giving doctors and nurses the tools to save more lives. They could pay for safe roads, clean water systems, and new bridges that connect villages and cities, making travel faster and safer. That money could also help create new businesses, support farmers, and encourage young inventors and entrepreneurs to start companies that make the Philippines stronger. Imagine a generation of young Filipinos growing up with more opportunities, better health care, and brighter futures simply because their country learned how to use its hidden treasure wisely. And it doesn't stop there. If the Philippines chooses not to only sell raw minerals, but to invest in its own factories and industries, it could climb much higher in the global supply chain. Right now, most of the minerals are shipped out of the country in raw form, where other nations process them and earn the bigger profits. But imagine if the Philippines kept more of that work at home. Instead of just exporting nickel, the country could use it to build local factories that produce electric car batteries. Instead of only selling copper ore, it could process it into wires, circuits, and high-tech equipment. Gold could be turned into parts for electronics and medical devices right inside the country. And if rare earth elements are developed, the Philippines could start building advanced products like wind turbines, defense systems, and satellites. This would mean thousands of new jobs, more knowledge and skills for Filipino workers, and more of the profit staying in the Philippines instead of leaving for foreign countries. But here's the other side of the coin. The risks are very real and they cannot be ignored. Mining on a massive scale can cause serious problems if it isn't done carefully. Cutting down forests for mining sites can lead to deforestation, which destroys animal habitats and weakens natural protection against floods and landslides. Chemicals used in mining can leak into rivers and lakes, poisoning the water that communities depend on for drinking, farming, and fishing. Whole villages may be forced to move away from their homes to make way for mines. If the environment suffers, so do the people. Farmers lose their crops, fishermen lose their fish, and families lose their homes. There is also the challenge of leadership and governance. In the past, the Philippine mining industry has faced corruption, weak regulations, and poor enforcement of environmental rules. Too often, foreign companies made billions of dollars in profit while leaving behind damaged land and struggling communities. Without strong leadership, transparent laws, and honest enforcement, history could repeat itself. The country might gain short-term wealth but lose its forests, rivers, and the trust of its people. And once the minerals are gone, they can never come back. This is why the Philippines now stands at a historic choice, one that will decide its future for generations. The nation has the chance to use its hidden wealth to build a fairer, stronger, and more independent society. But it must choose carefully. If the Philippines protects its land and people, shares the benefits fairly, and invests in industries that bring long-term growth, it could transform into a global leader in clean energy and advanced technology. Imagine the Philippines not only as an exporter of minerals, but as a country known for its factories, engineers, and innovation, working side by side with the world's top nations while keeping its independence. But if these resources are mismanaged, the result could be the opposite. The treasure that should bring hope could instead bring destruction. The country could face ruined forests, poisoned rivers, unfair deals that benefit only a few, and generations of Filipinos left with nothing but empty holes in the ground. The difference between success and failure will come down to leadership, planning, and whether the nation can stay united in protecting its future. The eyes of the world are already fixed on the Philippines. Global powers like the United States, China, Japan, and the European Union all understand how valuable these minerals are, and they know that whoever controls them gains influence over the industries of tomorrow. Nickel, copper, gold, and rare earths are not just commodities. 
They are power, security, and leverage in a rapidly changing world. And right now the Philippines holds the key. The big question remains. Will the Philippines rise to the challenge? Will it take this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to invest in its people and its future? Or will it allow outside powers and corruption to waste the chance? The decisions made today will echo for decades, shaping not only the destiny of the Philippines but also the future of global technology, clean energy, and trade.